Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're sharing the latest news, stories, and trends from leaders in our industry. I'm Barb Mitchell, joining you today from PTC 2024, and I have with me my guest, John Bruner, CEO of Aegis Mobile. Welcome. Thank you for having me today. Yeah. Um, Last time I saw you was in rainy London, and now we're in sunny Waikiki. (laughs) This is true. Yeah. How's the week been? Uh, week has been terrific, uh, hot, and uh, I didn't pack for hot weather, but right. I'm getting through it. <laughs> it's tricky, right? I mean, we're inside. It's chilly in here, actually. Yeah, for everyone at home, we're not in the sun, actually. We're we're inside <laughs> in the hub, just outside the PTC hub here. But um, pleasure to chat with you. And um, let's jump right in. I know we, we chatted you know, a couple months ago about what uh, the focus at Aegis Mobile is. And I think I want to pick up on that conversation a little bit and and talk about, I know there are continuing concerns around fraud in the telecom industry. Tell us how that aligns with the mission and focus of what you're doing at Aegis Mobile. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Um, You know, it's interesting because we talk about uh, the big big push today is restoring trust in in, uh, voice and in messaging. Um, You know, many people are not answering their calls if they don't recognize a phone number. And of course, um, spam and phishing is, uh, you know, a continuing problem. And so how do we create uh, ecosystems and and governance models and operational, you know, excellence to start restoring trust in the communications industry? Yeah. And so I'm sh- you've had a busy week, I'm sure, as it's everyone's, been a good been, week, everyone's yes. been kind of running yeah. around. You took the time out to speak on a panel, I believe, this week. What were you talking about? Uh, we were really focused on, you know, ensuring uh, you know, privacy in the in the uh, communications ecosystem and uh, and and a big discussion on trust. And uh, our role on that panel was really talking about known sender, known caller uh, uh, technologies that allow for very high volume, low cost, low friction registration and verification of companies are who they say they are, and they're not going to be a company that's known to come on and do harm. And so that that was a lot of our focus uh, for that presentation. Yeah. And moving from that right into a big, big topic. <laughs> Let's go the biggest topic we can. What's Talk about the industry as a whole in terms of trends. What are you seeing in terms of, you know, larger scale trends across the industry? So uh, I can speak about the U.S. industry because we've done some great things in that industry, specifically around messaging, where we've created the ability to onboard thousands of companies on a daily basis to become known senders uh, on the major carriers' networks uh, for business-to-consumer messaging. Um, and you know what we're learning is is that there are a lot of companies out there that are trying to prevent fraud, and we all have you know processes that uh, that that actually are effective. But to make them even more effective, we have to be communicating with each other. And so the, the, the feedback models and the uh, proactive communication of issues across the many players in the industry that are playing very different roles um, is really where a lot of the discussions that we're having today in the U.S. market on you know, making that happen. Yeah. Um, you know, from our perspective, to vet a company and say, okay, this is a good company that has no history of bad behavior, so therefore, you know, they're probably going to be fine, you know, coming on and, and, and communicating with their customers and not doing harm. But the reality is, is that the day after that vet occurs, the company could be acquired, they could get a new senior officer, and their behavior could change, you know, very quickly. So it's very important that monitoring in the market um, is going on and that, you know, looking at the transaction, you know, results and other areas of the ongoing operations are feeding back to uh, that company's reputation in terms of how they perform on these communication channels. Um, And again, you know, because the industry, uh, great providers of services have, you know, signed up contractually to do the part that they do, um, you know, a lot of the contracts that are in place don't really allow for the sharing of data across all the players that are trying to stop fraud. Yeah. And so that's, those are the kinds of discussions that we're having today in the industry that, that will really help a lot. Yeah. So, you know, as we said, we're, we're sort of an hour or two away from wrapping up this year's uh, PTC conference. Where do you go from here? What's uh, not geographically, <laughs> but but in terms of Aegis and what your what your focus is for the next sort of six to twelve months? What will you be telling us about this time next? The year? easier answer is I'm going home. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> that is the easier answer. <laughs> thank God. Yeah. Uh, yep. But uh, yeah, so uh, you know. 
fraud is something that is always evolving. And so from our perspective, our focus is on continuing to create efficiency, uh, greater automation, uh, success rates. You know, we operate in very, very high, you know, 90 percentile plus um, success rates for fully automated, uh, you know, processing. But, you know, how do we continue to improve that? How do we expand our data sources and how do we uh, stand up the communications across the different companies? And so that's really the biggest part of our roadmap, you know, going forward. And it's really about more data at the end of the day yeah. Um, yeah. and how it's used. Okay, great. Well, it's always a pleasure. Well, yeah, catching up. It uh, is a pleasure. Thank yeah, you. I'm sure we'll see you again in... <laughs> somewhere <laughs> in the next couple of months, a few months. Yeah. But um, thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Um, and it's, uh, you know, a, an honor to sort of wrap up this conference with, with a chat with you. So oh, well, thank you very much. It's my honor. It. Yeah. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in today to, J to uh, JSA TV here at PTC 2024. Happy networking. <laughs>